Okay, we are on Chagiga, Perak Bet, Mishnah Bet. We're going to talk about, not really, just, it's more historically, we're going to talk about Smicha, the idea of Smicha. We're going to see in our next Mishnah that the Machloket about doing Smicha was passed on all the way to Beit Shammai and Beit Hila. But there was a Machloket when we say, uh, let's, let's look at the Psukim. We have the Psukim. There's a, when you bring a Korban Chagiga, part of, the, part of the act of doing the Korban is Smicha. So the question is, when you do Smicha, when you bring your Korban Chagiga on Yom Tov, should you do smicha or not? Okay? So we are going to see that it's a, it was a machloket throughout the period, the long period of the zugot, the pairs of great chachamim that, were the, that were, came after the Anshei Knesset Agdola. Says the Mishnah. I want to talk about the zugot in a second. Yossi ben Yo'ezer amar shalom lismoch. Yossi ben Yochanan amar lismoch. So it's a huge machloket. You do smicha on the korban, on Yom Tov. Why? Shemishtamish bebalecha. I'm using animals. Shebechol kocho husomech. Because you're leaning on this animal with all of your force. It was between the Nisi'im, the prince, the head of the community, and the Av Beitin. It was a long standing machloke. So that's, that's a, it's, our Mishnah is really a historical Mishnah. So Yossi ben Yoezer said, It's want to bring you to Pirkei Avot. Okay? We have Pirkei Avot, Parakal Mishnah Bet, we have Shimon at Tzadik, and then Antignosh is Soho. And then after that, we have Yossi ben Yoezer and Yossi ben Yochanan. They were the, these were the zugot. Okay, kol atenaim now are zug zug. Okay, the first is nasi, the nasi, and the second is av beitin. Yossi ben Yoezer and Yossi and Yossi ben Yochanan. So let's go back to our Mishnah. Yossi ben Yoezer and Yossi ben Yochanan. So the nasi said shelo dismoch, and the av beitin said dismoch. Yoshua ben Parachi omer shelo dismoch. Nita arbeli omer dismoch. They pass it on to the next uh, generation. Yehuda ben Tabai Omer Shelo Lismoch. Yehuda ben Tabai said, Don't do smicha. Shem ben Shatach Amar Lismoch. He said, Do do smicha. Shemaya Amar Lismoch. Avtayon Amar Shelo Lismoch. Seems like they switched. Shemaya, I just want to look in the Shemaya and, and, the, and Avtayon. That's the fourth zug. Hold on one second. I have a Wikipedia page here about the zugot. Okay? And the, the zugot are Shemaya and Avtayon. Shemaya is the Nasi. Avtayon is the Avbeitim. Shemaya, so Shemaya said, the smokes, and they switched. Hillel, Hillel, remember, said to, to, uh, Hillel said, to do smicha. So Menachem agreed. Yatsa Menachem, Nichnas Shemai. Menachem left. Okay. Oh. Bartender says, Avodat Amelach. He went, Uparash Vidot Chaviroshal Hillel. He left. He went to go work for the king. Okay. That's why he left. And Nichnas Shemai, Bimkomo, Liot Av Beitin. Menachlaka Lillel. So Shemai came in and he argued. Shammai Omer Shelo Lismoch, Hillel Amar Lismoch. Shammai said not, and Hillel said too. Habishonim Ayu Nisiim, Ushniim Av Lebeitin. Okay, and all these who go, the first one was a Nasi, and the second one was Av Beitin. Let's go back to our Wikipedia page, so just to be said where the Zugot were. We're in Bayit Sheni, during the Tufa of Bayit Sheni, the, the period of Zugot, so throughout the entire Tufa, the period of these Zugot, which is, uh, you know, I, don't, I can't say the years exactly, but during the period of Bayit Sheni, Okay, before right the common era, towards like the, to the end of the of the of the before common era, before the common era, all these zugot had this long-standing machloket: should you do smicha or should you not do smicha uh, when it comes to when it comes to uh, offering the korban chagiga on the chag. We'll stop here. Dedicated. I learned in the memory of my father, Rav Sibra Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.